are partially at least uh, an adrenal health issue. So focus on the digestive wellness aspect, use probiotics, uh, uh, do, your, do a food diary and eliminate problem foods, focus on blood sugar issues, use the sweeties, get on uh, uh, vitamin B1 and B3 in the entire B complex, uh, magnesium, you might want to use the Healthy Start Pack, which will get you the BTT and the OsteoFX and your omega-3 fatty acids, all of which can help stabilize blood sugar. The amino acid taurine, 100 milligrams or so a day amino acid arginine maybe a uh, thousand to two thousand milligrams a day arginine's got tremendous multiple benefits great great amino acid and then um, and then use a little bit of celtic sea salt uh, to help stabilize the adrenal glands and you should start to notice some weight loss pretty darn quickly the good news about losing weight especially if you're real big brandon is that uh, the the more weight you need to lose the faster the weight starts to come off now as you start to uh, lose the weight it's going to get a little bit harder to drop pounds but at first you're going to notice that the pounds drop off pretty darn quickly. If you do everything I said, you should start to notice that you're losing weight within three or four days. Within a, a month, you could easily lose 20 or 30 pounds. Easily. Alex lost, Alex Jones lost almost 40 pounds in two months. When I started using uh, nutritional supplements 10 or 15 years ago, I lost 50 pounds in three months. And there's folks who will lose 100 pounds in two or three months once they start to correct the environment, the nutritional environment of the body. Good luck with everything, Brandon, and thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, Let's go to Pennsylvania. Jim, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, buddy? Hello there, Ben. Um, I, I, it's a shame I'm falling on the heels of a, a, the same, a similar question here. Yesterday okay. you had uh, talked about skin tags, okay. and it really threw up some red flags where I decided I am going to lose this weight. I'm going to take control of my diet. Okay. I've already ordered the uh, BTT and the EFAs. Congratulations, man. Awesome. Thank you. So, I, and I, I decided I'm going to work on cardio, but I also listening to you for several months. You talked about the ketogenic diet, yes. and I didn't know if that was a correct path, but I. I Heck feel yes. that that would be the path I should take, you know, but it's very foreign to me. Well, the ketogenic diet, people make it a lot more complicated than it needs to be. It's basically a, a fat, protein, low-carbohydrate diet. People will tell you it's high fat, moderate protein. I just think of it as focusing on fats, focusing on protein, restricting carbohydrates. Now, uh, carb, there's carbohydrates and there's carbohydrates. So when people talk about low-carb, they tend to lump all carbohydrates into the same category. Well, I don't like doing that because there's one class of carbohydrates that everybody needs and you should be eating them all day and that's vegetable carbohydrates not fruits not fruits for some reason we lump fruits and vegetables together in the same category they don't they're not the same thing at all uh, vegetables can provide you with tremendous medicinal health value and you do not want to skimp or restrict veg uh, the, your intake of vegetables ever you want to be eating lots and lots of veggies however aside from vegetables you want to stay away from carbohydrates as much as possible if you're going to really take advantage, exploit the keto, ketogenic diet. So, uh, lots of protein, lots of essential fatty acids, uh, a certain amount of saturated fat as well, especially coconut oil, which can be a real important part of the ketogenic diet, and then uh, restricting the bread and the pasta and the potatoes. The stuff I talk about here all the time on the bright side is kind of a modified ketogenic diet. So, it's not very complicated. It's basically just restricting your uh, processed carbohydrates and your sugars and your fruits and you know all the foods that we beat up on getting most of your calories from protein and essential fatty acids and saturated fat like the kind that you get in coconut oil and then also making sure that you're getting a good concentration of protein you'll know you're getting enough protein and enough fats when you don't feel like snacking when you don't feel like eating Snickers bars and you don't feel like you need bread or fruit or any kind of sweet food, that's how you'll know that you got enough uh, uh, protein and, en and enough fat. Now, another very important part of the ketogenic diet is restricting your calories, just eating less food. This is one of the reason why one of the reasons why the ketogenic diet can be very helpful for folks who have epilepsy. I was just reading uh, an article in the journal Epilepsy Research that talks about fasting benefiting patients who have epilepsy. The headline: Fasting may benefit patients with epilepsy. See, study suggests. Well, it, there's no may about it. Everybody's known. We've known this for decades that the less you eat, the less likely it is for you to have an epileptic, uh, epileptic seizure. Now, I know you don't have, you're not talking about epilepsy, but the ketogenic diet has been used. In fact, this is the main reason that the ketogenic diet is used by healthcare professionals is to take care of epilepsy. So, 
Uh, as far as uh, the ketogenic diet goes for losing weight, not only can it help you if you have seizure disorders, but it can also help you drop pounds. And don't be thrown off by the complicated nature of ketones and ketone chemistry. All we're talking about here, Jim, is more protein, more fats, and less sugar carbohydrates, although you still want to maintain uh, vegetables. And by the way, uh, if you have weight problems, if you're thinking that you have weight problems, if you're thinking you have weight problems and you have skin tags, chances are pretty darn darn good that you are dealing with a blood sugar problem, uh, pre-diabetes or diabetes. Did I answer your question there, buddy? Jim? Any fruits that I can take or vegetables that I should avoid? No vegetables that you should avoid unless you have a thyroid problem, uh, in which case you want to avoid cruciferous vegetables that are raw, although if you steam your cruciferous vegetables, that could be uh, that can take care of some of the uh, anti-thyroid goitrogenic properties that these cru- uh, cruciferous vegetables can have. Fruits I would be restricting, you know, a little bit of fruit here and there. You don't need to eat the whole banana. You can eat a little piece of banana. You don't eat a whole apple. You can quarter your apple and, and suck on a, a quarter of the apple like it was a candy. There is, there's some good nutrients in fruits for sure, but the problem with fruits today is that we have genetically modified these things to be super mega sweet so they, uh, so they meet our need for sweets and uh, meet our need for sugar. So fruits have some good things in them and I don't mean to vilify an entire class of foods, but the problem with fruits today is that they've been bred to be super duper sweet. So when you're eating your fruits, concentrate on berries and small fruits and you don't have to eat a whole banana or a whole, uh, a whole apple and you can eat smaller pieces of watermelon or melons in order to get the nutritional benefits. That's all the time we have for uh, today, Jim. I apologize for cutting you off. If you got more questions, send me an email, ben at ksco.com. Thank you, folks, for joining us on The Bright Side. If you want to learn more about the longevity products or join my team, go to my website, brightsideben.com, and click on that Join Now link. Make some money and help me in my mission to educate the world about the importance of nutritional supplementation. Alec Jones is next. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Man. Managing your business and customers isn't easy, huh? Snapforce customer relationship software may be just what you need. Snapforce CRM is a software solution that helps you manage everything important about your customers, from sales to marketing to service and support. All of your customer information is right there at your fingertips for easy access. It's time to take control of your business in a snap. Get your free trial at snapforce.com. That's S-N-A-P-F-O-R-C-E.com. Snapforce.com. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during... 